Hey guys, welcome to No Code Engineer. In this lesson, we'll learn how to use some of the design features in Bubble. The design features in Bubble are really important for you to make a cleaner and nicer looking web apps. A clean user interface is really important to provide a really good user experience to your users. So let's dive in and look at some of the design features you can use to make a really good looking app. Here, as you can see, I've opened the page here. The name of the page is design. On the page, I have no elements. That's why you cannot see anything here except the name of the page. I'm gonna give the, a color to this page so that when you preview it, you can see uh, the size of the page relative to the size of the screen. I click on preview here. And now you can see the web page that we just designed. Here, you can see that our web page only occupies this portion of the uh, screen. The white area on the left and the right are not occupied by the screen and this does not look really good. So one fix for this kind of an issue is that you have to double click on the page here, you go down and you see make this element fixed width option. This is usually checked. What you have to do is you just have to uncheck it to make it not fixed width element. Now when you preview it, you'll see that the page occupies the entire area of the screen. Let's try to uh, stick a header on our page. This header, when you double click on it, you can see that the make this element fixed width option is already unchecked. So that's a good thing for us because when you preview it, you can see that the header will stretch out across the screen. And this looks really nice, but this, these buttons are at the middle and these, this icon is also in the middle. So we could have a fix for it, for it to move to the left and this to stay at the right, you know. We can go back to the header element here in the reusable elements and try to find a fix for this. Here uh, here in the header section, we can see that the the, the logo bubble is, is on the left and the login and sign up buttons are on the right and they are both in the groups too let's check if the groups are fixed width or not this group is not fixed width so let's make it fixed width first and then let's see the parent group which is this group what are the properties in this parent group this parent group is also not fixed width and that is what we need for this page to align properly but it has a problem it says here that apply a maximum width when the page is stressed so when the page is stressed across the screen this will remain uh, this will have a maximum size and that size is 100% of the current width 100% of the current width is just this width so no matter how how large your page is this group is going to stay the same size because it's 100% of the present width so let's uncheck this box here so that it stretches out as much as it wants now let's click on preview to see now let's go back to the design page first now let's click on preview to see uh, the changes that we just made nice it does because now you can see that the bubble logo has moved to the left and this login and sign up options have moved to the right all this happened because we were able to uh, stretch the group the parent group in which the bubble and then the login and sign up buttons and the bubble logo were in we were able to stretch that group and that's why these elements were able to move to the right and this to the left and let me give you uh, one more example how things could mess up when you're designing in bubble you could have a lot of input boxes in bubble for example these kind of input boxes in a lot of pages and you could also have a button like like this I'm gonna delete that I pasted a lot of times I think anyway so when you're designing in bubble you could have several pages with several uh, input boxes and uh, for example some of your pages could look like this you could have three input boxes with, with one button let's preview to see how this kind of a page would look like in bubble as you can see here all the input boxes are stressed out across the page and it looks really ugly what we really wanted was only to stretch out the background the, the page itself but not the input boxes there is a quick fix for fix for this too what we can do is we can select all the input boxes that we want one two three and even this button here we can right click on it and group them in one group group elements in the group we can click on that 
and now all these four elements are grouped inside a group and and now we can double click on this group go to the make this element fixed with option and just check it once what what this will do is this will make sure that this group doesn't stretch out when the page is stressed out so let's see the results of this design changes all right so it works uh, now you can see that uh, the input boxes are not stressed out across the page and it looks really good so guys this was a really uh, quick and short introduction to uh, the design features in bubble and how you can uh, use it to make your web pages look really nice and clean on any kind of device because design is such a wide issue and it could have lots of questions and issues with design while you're designing in Bubble. Uh, I could not cover all the elements of design in one lesson. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a lot of videos on how to use Bubble and a lot of other tools uh, to, to make web apps without coding. In all those videos, whenever possible, I'm going to give you tips and tricks of how to optimize your design. Uh, for that particular web page so uh, stay tuned guys and I'll come up with more videos thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon bye bye